What's up guys, welcome back to Half Man Half Tech, my name is Ben, your host. So in today's video, since this has been requested by a few of my subscribers, I'm going to be explaining to you in detail how this wartime watch face works that came with watchOS 8. It's actually pretty simple and here on the channel I do cover a lot of watchOS related content and Apple Watch related content. So if that is something that you're interested in then a sub to the channel will be great so once you update on watchOS 8 or your Apple watch you once you bring it over to watchOS 8 all you need is a series 3 and newer and make sure your iPhone that's synced with your Apple watch has been updated to iOS 15 and then you'll see watchOS 8 update I already did a video of what's new you'll be able to see that the first thing is a new watch face and if you want to see your new watch faces on your apple watch you can hold on any of your old watch faces and then go all the way to the far right you see the the new icon where you can add a new watch face and if you click on it you will see that the first thing you see on top is the world time watch face and the portrait watch face so i've already explained the portrait watch face and how you can best uh, use it on your apple watch and this time around since it was requested by a few of you i will be explaining this world time watch face so that's how you see the new watch faces so you can see how it basically looks this is an overview and if you want to edit it on your iphone i mean on your apple watch just hold on it and then go to where it says edit you can see that it comes in two styles we have digital and then if you scroll up you have analog if you swipe to the right you'll be able to see that you can also edit the colors and basically you see that we have quite a lot of colors so it goes to all the way to like olive that's a new color also but if for the purposes of this video we just keep red and then if you swipe again you have the different complications that you can put in the corners of your watch face you can see i have the temperature i have the date i have activity and one of my a city this is harare the time in harare in zimbabwe right there so this is how you can edit it on your apple watch but if you want to do this on iphone it's also as easy as doing it on the watch and you actually have more options so you can see if you open your apple watch app and you go to watch faces you see the new watch faces just like on the apple watch and then you see the world time watch face and the portrait watch face i've already done this and if you click on the world time watch face you see that here you can also like select the different colors that you have but in addition to this or a feature that you don't get on the uh, apple watch if you are editing your watch face on the apple watch is the gradient color selector how deep or dark you want the color to be you can see here on the iphone that you have this selector on the bottom which was not not available on the apple watch so that is an added advantage of editing your watch faces on the iphone and obviously you can see the styles that digital analog and then you have the complications which are what you see in the corners right there the four corners you can uh, select this so that is how you do it on the iphone it's pretty simple and i'm going to be explaining to you this watch face so you can see the description here that it says inspired by classic designs this watch face lets you track the time in all 24 time zones at once so if you go to your apple watch and you are you know adventurous enough and you want to count all these time zones that you see there you come up with a number and that number will be 24 time zones so let's continue with the description and then it says the locations along the outer dial represents the different time zones while the inner dial shows the current time in each location so now we know that the time zones are the different uh cities city names that you are seeing so cairo is a time zone paris is a time zone and new york denver and so on the outer dial represents time zones and then the 
inner dial represents the current time in those time zones so what this means is that the white numbers that you are seeing so the 17 16 16 15 14 this represents the current time and it's in a 24 hour notation so you need to know your 24 hour notation so for example 16 represents 4 and then 15 represents 3 and 23 basically represents 11 24 is midnight and so on and you can see here that we have the seconds this is the white circle that you see that's always moving so if you count that's about 60 seconds to make the whole revolution so the, the outer dial just know that that is the different time zones and then the inner dial are the hours and what is constant here is the minutes so with this war time watch face the minutes are always the same and the seconds are always the same what's varying or what's a variant are the hours so for example if you wanted to know what's the time in like denver you would have to go to what the time zone that corresponds to denver you can see denver is right there and the current time in denver you can see is 8 so in denver it will be 8 17 or 17 minutes after 8 in the morning since this is just 8 and if you wanted to see which city was at 8 p.m you'd have to go to dhaka which is the one that corresponds to 20 right there and you can see there that dhaka is 2018 or in a sense it's um 18 minutes past 20 in the evening or in the night so that's how you tell the different time zones and just to show you another example if you wanted to know the time in paris you can see paris there has a 16 so the current time in paris will be 16 18 or 18 minutes after 4 p.m so it's very easy to tell and also if we continue with the description of this time zone in on our apple watch it says that tapping the globe centers it to the time zones you are in in which which is also denoted by by the arrow at six o'clock the sun and the moon icons represent sunrise and sunset where you are and the light and the dark zones on the globe reflect light and day moving across the earth available with both analog and digital time so basically what it says is if you want to know which time zone you are so you can see that there's an arrow on this um, time and you see there that the arrow is on the bottom right there and that is your current time zone if you tap on the globe you notice that it will move towards that time zone and it will sort of you know show you that hey this is our time zone so currently i'm not in los angeles but you can see that the current time zones i'm using is the same as la and i'm in vancouver british columbia so the the current time in british columbia is 0720 am and if we go on our iphone and say what's the time in la and search you notice that it's 0720 am and you notice that that is the time zone that we belong to and also like it said on the globe you notice that the left hand side is darker than the right hand side so it shows you which portion is in the day and which portion is in the dark so this side starting from like six all the way to about 18 which is six so 6 a.m to 6 p.m this left hand side all these time zones are in like in the evening or in the night and then all these time zones that you see on the right hand side which depict like the lighter portion of the globe so starting from 7 a.m to about 5 in the evening those are the locations that have like sunlight or are uh, in daytime so it's very easy to use once you set it up and you know uh, edit it and put your complications you've you find it very handy and for me this is going to be one of my favorite uh, apple watch faces right now if i wanted to tell the time in tokyo you notice that the time in tokyo will be 23 22 so in a sense it will be 11 22 p.m so 
very easy to use and very simple so that's about it for me when it comes to this wartime watch face if you have some questions do let me know what you do need to know also is that you can't change these time zones and put like los angeles or uh, or like put los angeles on top there put cairo right there since that will mess up the time zones this is a set parameter and basically that how that's how it works you can see that it's very handy and if you travel a lot or you have friends in different cities or different time zones this is how you can keep track with them and know who's awake who's asleep or you know know whom to call during the day or if you're calling someone during the night it's very simple and if you like this video please leave a like down below and do let me know if you have any questions and other than that that's about it for me when it comes to this watch os 8 world time zone if you like this video please leave a like and stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon peace